Earlier this week, an independent investigation revealed a cover-up after a former Blackhawks player, Kyle Beach, accused Aldrich of sexual assault in 2010. Meanwhile, a former Blackhawks player also endured sexual abuse before his time in the NHL. He's now focusing on helping victims. CBS 2's Asal Razai is live at the United Center. Asal, he's pretty candid about changes that still need to be made. Brad, that's right. Theo Fleury played with the NHL for 15 years and ended his NHL career here at the United Center as a Chicago Blackhawk. He believes the scandal could have been prevented and should have never happened in the first place. They made mistakes at every turn. These days, Theo Fleury is an advocate and activist for trauma, mental health and addiction. It comes after a long career as a professional hockey player. Here he's pictured playing for a Canadian Olympics team before going on to the NHL. In his early hockey days, the unthinkable happened to Fleury. I'm a sexual abuse survivor. Um, when I was uh, like from 14 to 16, I was I was raped by a coach 150 times over a two and a half year period. Fleury says he's worked through that trauma for years and is now helping other sexual abuse survivors. Watching the sex scandal within the Blackhawks organization unfold, Fleury says the issue is how it was handled from the get-go. I understand why they did it because they were on a run going to the Stanley Cup final and that would have been a huge distraction, but they should have remove that gentleman from access to the player immediately. And Fleury hopes that the league as a whole will learn from the Blackhawks investigation. The NHL has an opportunity right now to become a leader in this space and put in protocols. Creating a safe space for players, Fleury says, is how they can prevent sexual abuse from happening in the first place. But if we put in, you know, roadblocks, as many roadblocks as possible, and we educate, you know, uh, society on what to look for, uh, I think we can significantly decrease, uh, you know, the amount of incidents that, that, that do happen. Yeah, and Fleury also telling me that he doesn't necessarily think this is just an issue within the hockey community. He says this is a systematic societal problem. We're live at the United Center. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News. Asal, thank you.